So in order for your Navisworks to look like mine, we'll want to come in to the View tab. And you can enable different windows to be on and off, just like we did in Revit. So if you come here to the Windows button, and here you can turn on and off the different windows. So we want to make sure that we have the selection tree on. I will go ahead and also turn on sets. And <clears throat> turn on properties. Okay, so those, uh, for now, those are the main ones we want to make sure are on in here. And so here's my selection tree, here's my properties. And then you'll notice I have sets here. It came up as, uh, I, it, it's kind of a pop out. And so you can pin or unpin any of these bars by just clicking on the little thumbtack icon. So that way, it either just comes up temporarily while you're in it, and then it goes away, or if you want it to stay open, you pin it open. Okay. So once you get all the key ribbon or windows open that you want, uh, we'll be able to start diving into to some of these items. So first, the selection tree. This is your table of contents. This is all of the items contained in your model. So this is a great tool to use often during your, your takeoffs and your analyzing of the model. So you'll see that you can collapse and expand any of these and that they're grouped in the same family and types that Revit gave you. And so, uh, for instance, we have a doors category and you can expand and then you have a subcategory of the different door types single flush double flush just door opening and so we'll look into single flush and then we have different sizes and then you notice now finally this little icon changed it's been the five dots all the way up until here and this is when you actually hit geometry so this is the actual model content before it's more just a group okay so uh, we can see here that there are four of this 36 by 84 size door so when i select something on the selection tree it's also selecting here in the model and so um, for instance if i just clicked all the doors you'll see that these three doors that I can see that are visible are also highlighting. And likewise, if I click on something in the model, it'll highlight in the selection tree. So if I click on this roof, you'll see it jumps down to, um, it's under the roofs category, basic roof, generic three inch roof. Okay, so it's bi-directional selecting. So, this, like I said, is very important so you can get to know more information about what's in the model just by clicking on it and seeing where it resides and kind of looking up in the groups. Okay, So that's a foundation wall and it's under the wall category. Now, sometimes you'll have a structural foundation category, but interestingly enough, they have this foundation in the walls category. So these are things you have to kind of look out for as you get a new model. Everything's not always perfect. So the next really important window is the properties window. And I'll make this a little bit bigger. So just like in Revit, when we looked at the properties, all those properties come right on through into Navisworks. And so uh, let's click on this outer wall and we see this According to the selection tree is an exterior 10 inch brick on metal stud wall. And then over here in properties, we have, you can click all the way, all these different tabs of information associated just with this piece of geometry. So I found that the really the two tabs under the properties window that are helpful are the element tab 
which has a lot of the quantity information. So you'll see here the unconnected height is 15.33 feet. And we also have an area of 322 feet, square feet. Um, and then there's also some kind of general descriptive information. If we go over even more to the Revit type tab, there we have some more information that's more uh, descriptive. And so we have, you know, family name, type names. We have some other type of information. So between these two tabs, the Revit type and the element, those are the only ones that I usually look in when I'm trying to get information on any given object. So 